All right, you two, we are here with my client right here. All right, tell him your name. Jay Far from NTG. So what kind of cut you getting today? I'm getting a little type of fade. Shape it up. Give me love. Cutting it, cutting it down, right? Yeah, I'm cutting it down. What you doing with the face? Just getting like a goatee? Just shape up. Shape it up. Shape it up. All right, I got you. We're going to get you right. You're going to do this transformation. Y'all stay tuned. Just like it right now. It's going to be crazy. All right, it's going to be crazy. Let's get, let's get to it. Listen, YouTube, you got another transformation here. Make sure you guys stay to the end to see what the outcome is going to be and exactly how I did it. So first things first, I'm just going to cut these naps down, okay? And yes, naps, is, the hair is nappy. I'm not finna sit up here and be like, bro, his hair is not nappy. His hair texture is beautiful. Listen, I'm not knocking nobody hair texture, all right? But as of right now, it's nappy, okay? And this is the main reason why he wanted to cut it off. So first, we, first thing we did was cut it off with no guard just to like create an entrance into the hair. Um, he did remind me that he did have a cowlick in his um, front hairline. So we cut it down to a three first, just to just in case we cut into the cowlick because um, he did ask for a two. So we're just gonna use a bigger guard first just to be safe. And then we're gonna use the two closed after we do the three um, and get all the hair down. And once we identify where the cowlicks are. As of right now, you guys do not have to cut the hair down like I just did. That was just for the thumbnail purpose. And after we cut it down, I comb it out again and go with my two closed. Just making sure the hair is all even before I move on to the next step. Now it's time to start the taper. You guys know the taper. I use the same steps almost every time, okay? And you guys, this is actually how you guys get faster at cutting hair, okay? A lot of my beginner barbers ask me, yo, uh, how long did it take for you to cut hair? How did, how did you get so fast? Blah, blah, blah. You guys need to pick a system and stay with it, okay? A lot of times I see you guys, you know, switching up your system or trying to use a different system when it comes to different hair textures or different people you never cut before. Listen, find a system that works for you and use that system on everyone, okay? So if you use the one guard open, I mean, if you use the lever open and then debulk, blend down, and then do your detail work like that, um, keep doing that for every hair texture, you know what I'm saying? You, you should only have to adjust the little things like a comb over, you're gonna have to do a clipper over comb or shield work at the top of the fade, but the fade under that should be your regular steps okay don't change up your steps just because it's someone you never cut before or you feel like your system that you're using isn't working okay find a system if you get a decent fade use that system until you master it once you master it your cuts are going to be way um they're going to get done way faster and they're going to look better over time okay if that's all cutting hair is you can you guys get better with time it's not a way i could teach you how to be better physically okay you, got it. you can watch the videos and do exactly what you see, but it's not going to come out the same unless you put those reps in, okay? Just like any sport, okay? You got, you're not just going to come out the womb and, you know, be sweet, okay? You got to practice, okay? You can't just watch a player do something and do it exactly how they do it. It's not physically possible, okay? You guys just put those reps in. You know, don't get discouraged by if a cut didn't come out how it wanted it to come out or if you feel like you could have did better, don't down yourself okay get them reps in find you a system that works and over time you'll get better and faster and more consistent with your haircuts so with the back taper i'm basically just going to do the same exact thing moving on to the side and then we're going to do the lineup after this Now it's time for the lineup. And um, my client said he has a cowlick. I personally really couldn't see it that well. Okay, I really just see a, you know, a solid hairline with a little, you know, that little hair sticking out, almost like a widow speak. But shout out to Clipper Grinder for sending me these trimmers. Okay, these things hit, you know what I'm saying? A little bit too hard on the, you know, vertical bars. 
but it's like you gotta have a gentle hand like when you guys see this hair comes off immediately okay my client um said that they didn't hurt you know what i'm saying he didn't feel that they were sharp they just you know if you got something like that's too sharp you almost don't feel it until like afterwards it's like it's like when you get a paper cut okay like you can't really feel when you get a paper cut but when the alcohol touch your skin and it started burning you like ah you know what i'm saying it's something like that but man them things do hit okay especially for like if you need to cut down um bulk or anything so make sure you guys go to clipper grinder hit them up get you some uh some blades if you guys if you guys have a gentle hand if you don't if you're hairy handed do not <laughs> but yeah i'm just using my enhancements trying to blend it in make it clean as possible he did ask for these you guys can see he's feeling himself in the mirror, smiling and in. That, um, that was not a word. I don't know what that was, okay? Well, he's smiling, looking in the mirror, feeling himself, okay? And this is the fresh cut. Let me know what you guys think. And stay to the end, man. The end is not your typical ending, okay? Don't go nowhere. Stay to the end. It's your boy, Wave KK. I'm out as far as this part. Deuces. Feel about your cut, bro? This shit brought me back to life. <laughs> the whole new person, here. man. Whole new man. Yes, sir. Got him right. Got him right. YouTube, if you don't, oh snap! If you don't know, now you know. Okay, today you're gonna be picking up the Audi S7. All right, you guys. So right now we are at the the Carvana little dealership. My car is right there. I don't know if y'all can see. It. I got my wide angle wings. The content that's on the way is gonna be way better. Quick. What you guys say, man? To the vlog, man. Shit, I'm proud of my boy. And now, <laughs> came a long way. Nah, He's I did. He's been coming to us since what? He had like an O2 Ultima. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was old, bro. I didn't show y'all the actual outside of the car. But yeah, y'all, this is the car, man. We about to get some tent. Y'all know I go in dark because that's just how I roll. You know what I'm saying? We just showed Big Mike the Audi, man. <laughs> hey, what you, you think about the Audi, bro? Saying, bro, this shit is quiet 5 oh. He ain't got no ain't chance. Got none, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cars outside, bro. <laughs> Turn it back that way. I can lie, the car, the car is outside, bro. He came from cutting the waves to cutting up. Back. Come on, boy. Back. Yes. <laughs> 